So I'm going to take my sandpaper and then I want to scuff up this area because I want it to. Uh, you know, and I just <laughs> sanded that right off. Mark the side. Okay, and then I want to take this is the extra thick super glue, and I just want to put a dot. I'm going to redraw my line right here. This is thick. One little dot. And then I want to align that with my line. Just like that. I'm just going to hold it there until it uh, catches. And make sure that that still operates, that it goes in and out. And it does. Now these wires only need to be as long as that switch right there, so I can actually cut them. The red one's going to be just slightly longer than the black one. And we'll strip these. Them. And on your altimeter, um, and I know this is very hard to read, but uh, it will say switch where the switch goes, and they're not polarity sensitive, so um, it doesn't matter which which one the red goes in or which one the black goes in. So just stick it in the terminal block. There's a little tiny screw up there. Open that up. So that will go in and then we'll cinch it down. Just like that. Okay. And yeah, my other altimeter is going to go right there. And I'll have to put another switch on the board for that one, and I'll just probably put it right on the back side um, so I can actually turn both on and off through the same hole. And you probably won't be able to see this, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Otherwise, I might have to drill another hole in my switch band for. Uh, you know, on the opposite side, you know, 180 degrees on the opposite side. It's up to you how you want to do that. Uh, my battery, I'm going to take this foam and take my battery and I'm going to wrap it in the foam. Just see it like right there. This way, so I only need about like right there. That gets wrapped, and it's going to go right there with zip ties. long enough. I want to cinch these down tight. Yeah, it's not going to be long enough. If they're not long enough, like that one's not, um, you take another zip tie. And then I can 
cinch it down this way. Cut off the ends that hang off. Okay, and then this is my plug, so I'll get plugged in there. So I'll just snap these off. Okay, so the altimeter is mounted, and then I do the same with the other altimeter. Um, and next, we need to run wires to the ejection charges, and I think I'll start that in the next video because we need to drill some more holes into these bulkheads. Um, so I'll start that in the next video.